Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with Blu-ray DVD collection update. Now most of this stuff is stuff that uh, my sister actually bought for me because she owed me upwards of like 70 bucks and she has a Best Buy credit card that she, so that way she does so that way she has to slowly pay off the debt she creates by using it. So I took advantage of her having that and I bought some stuff at Best Buy. And uh first big thing big big thing is the Resident Evil box set on Blu-ray I'm not even the, a really very big fan of the Resident Evil movies personally uh, I think the first like three of them are are good from what I can remember I remember liking the first three I don't remember much of uh, Afterlife and Retribution the last two that they made and I know that there is another one the last one in the series which is going to be the sixth one which is uh, the final chapter that's supposed to come out like sometime early next year and I'm not even going to lie, after seeing the trailers for it, I'm kind of interested, and I'm willing to give it a shot as a kind of a fun B-movie, and I figured this would be a good way to uh, get back into the series, and uh, I recently rewatched the first one, and I, gotta, and I gotta say, the first one is pretty solid, um, and I watched the second one, the second one's okay-ish, uh, I really, I, I always, always, always remember really liking uh, Extinction, the third one. Um, don't remember much of Afterlife or Retribution, but that's why I got this box set. It was only like 30 bucks, and they are all Blu-rays. Next, I got Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. I watched this one like last week, I think, and like a week ago, a week or two ago, and I really, really liked it. Um, I remember... Uh, hearing about it winning the Academy Award for Best Picture, and I remember hearing some good things about it, but not it not being screwed like uh, it kind of uh, didn't really do very well in the box office. I remember it winning the Academy Award for Best Picture, and a lot of people were saying, "How could this have won Academy Award for Best Picture this year? This movie sucked ass. This the, it was it was fucking terrible. The only thing good about it was Michael Keaton." And honestly, after watching this film myself, I have to say that this is probably a the best performance of Michael Keaton's career as well as probably one of the best movies um to win a, to win best picture in a very very long time it is a very well made well put together film it's very funny very charming kind of dark and i personally really really loved it um next i got anime movies uh, I got Studio Ghibli films. I finally own some Studio Ghibli films after all these years of of uh, neglecting to buy any of them because they were way too fucking expensive. I got Princess Mononoke on Blu-ray and DVD, which uh, I watched Princess Mononoke for the first time this year, and I remember really, really liking it. And uh, I remember it being very, very dark and violent for a PG-13 movie. Um, and I gotta say, I wish Miyazaki would have made more very, would have made more kind of like dark films, like more dark R-rated films, because I, I like it when he does dark subject matter, and this is a great example of one of the darker films he's done. Um, but still, I really, really enjoy this movie, and it was like... 14 bucks on Blu-ray, and I gotta say that's not too bad, uh, considering this is like a Ghibli film on Blu-ray, and usually on DVD they're going for like 20, anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars, and on Blu-ray they're going for like nearly 30 sometimes. Uh, the big one, big, big one, probably my favorite Miyazaki film, Spirited Away on Blu-ray, and it's a Blu-ray DVD combo, but still. Uh, this is actually my first Studio Ghibli film I ever saw when I was 17. So that was only two years ago. I saw my first Studio Ghibli film when I was 17, and uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends, saw them when they were very young, and they loved them, and I never really knew of them, knew of Studio Ghibli, but still, this one is also very, very good. Probably one, probably one of my favorite Ghibli films, probably my favorite Miyazaki film. But, uh... It was like 22 bucks, and again, that's not too bad, but when, on average, the DVD, I would say the DVD of this going for like 20, anywhere from like 15 
18 bucks to like upwards of 20 that's a little much for a DVD of a film like this um, I, I, I get a feeling that it that, that it's not just because it's a Ghibli film but because it is also is released in the US as a Disney under Disney um, Disney owns the US distribution rights to Ghibli films so I can completely get that but Disney always feels the need to hike up their prices super high because they feel like they always put out good shit. And finally on Blu-ray I got Ghost in the Shell. Last week I bought Ghost in the Shell 2.0. And uh, I did a bit of research and that's not the uh, original version that I've seen before. But a like basically like a remake. Um, like a, re a remake with, new, with a new dub and everything. This is the original version of it and it was like 10 bucks and I remember liking this I, it's been a very long time since I have seen this movie but um I'm looking forward to popping it in giving it another watch and the last thing which this is the only thing I actually bought myself out of this update is a blu-ray double pack from Subrosa Studios of Lethal Nightmare and Hallucinations this is a uh, limited to like 200 copies blu-ray of two uh, shot on video films um, and one of them Lethal Nightmare is a remake is a remake of, of uh, Hallucinations um, which Hallucinations was shot on video and uh, Lethal Nightmare was shot on Super 8 but I've never heard of or, or seen either of these and this is the first movie I've ever bought from Sub Rosa but um, I know they're big into like shot on video stuff and I can completely dig that but but when they when this originally came out, it was um, when this originally came out, it was like a it was like thirty bucks I think that's without shipping, and I mean shipping would have been like thirty four bucks, but still that's a little much for me personally for a Blu-ray of schlock. So I waited and I figured uh, either it's gonna go down in price because they're not selling too well, or it's gonna sell out and I'm never gonna get a copy. Um, and as it turns out, right when they were about at like six copies left, it hadn't been selling too well. They brought the price down to like 15 bucks, and I figured that was good enough for me. They also sent out a poster, which I'm kind of mad about, because I have really no use for this poster. It's literally of the double feature, like, movie theater thing that's on the cover of the Blu-ray, and that is kind of fucking stupid, personally, because I'm not going to hang this up. Why would I hang this up? This is... This is a cover to a DVD Blu-ray release. This is not an actual poster artwork. Now, if they would have given me two separate posters of the Hallucinations artwork, or just given me a one of the Lethal Nightmare artwork, hell yeah, I'd hang it up because the Lethal Nightmare, at least the Lethal Nightmare um, artwork, looks really, really good. But that is it for this Blu-ray DVD collection update guys anyway guys this is uh biscuit boo horror reviews signing off peace